Ferry, one of God's elite, I believe, who spent his life ministering on foreign soil for Jesus Christ. Brother Doyle Whaley has gone home to be with Jesus. And uh, we're going to be having his funeral this Tuesday at Calvary. But let me not get ahead of myself. Monday from 6 to 8, right here in this auditorium, we're going to have the viewing. And then 11 a.m. on Tuesday, we're going to have the service um, for Brother Whaley. So please be in prayer for not only his dear wife, um, but for Jerry and Janine and the family. And, and most of you know that, that Jerry's daddy passed away, I believe, last night as well. And so this family has just been, you know, we praise God, both of them knew Christ, but it's still very difficult, as all of you who've lost parents know. So please be in prayer for, and, and, and listen, I'm, I can do this sometimes. If you, if you will specifically, before you leave this place, if you'll pray for that family, and especially for Jerry and Janine, would you lift your hand right now? If you'll pray for them to the Lord. Um, I want to also mention, I'm very excited about this. We, we have a great deal of need in Grand Prairie, as, as you very well know. One of the greatest needs every year is for warm winter coats for school-age kids. There are kids that go the entire winter and never have a coat to put on. Um, I'm finding out increasing details from people who know about the state of things in North Grand Prairie that I had no idea. But one of them is these kids uh, many times don't have any warm clothing. And so I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this tonight, but we are going to be doing a coat drive for Austin Elementary School. Right here, our neighbor right next to us and getting as many coats for those kids as we possibly can. I, I think this can be new coats, this can be used coats if they're in good shape, um, and uh, we're going to have a box at the back beginning next Sunday, but you can bring them even before then, bring them during the week, and we're just going to try to get as many as we can as today the weather starts turning a little bit colder. Our folks have always responded in amazing fashion to this kind of need, and I believe this shows the love of Jesus in a practical, practical way. So we're going to begin that. I wanted to tell you tonight, we got a big one tonight, I'm excited, because not only are we going to be talking a little bit more about specifically how you and our church cannot waste our lives, but have a great story, because Calvary has a story too, right? Calvary has an ongoing story. We're going to talk about that tonight, but I'm also going to introduce you to somebody. I'm going to be interviewing somebody tonight before I preach who is not wasting her life. Um, she is using it in incredible ways for the glory of Jesus Christ, and, and we're going to do that tonight. By the way, we're not going to video any of this, because I want you to come. All right, so tonight, 6 p.m., right here in this auditorium, we're going to be back together, and uh, it's going to be a good time in the Lord. All right, let's all stand.